Tanglewood Street House, likely the first map that you will go to. Being the smallest house, there aren't many rooms, so you will likely find the ghost room quite quickly. The fact that it is a small house can make the hunts much more dangerous. Tanglewood offers the best hiding spots on the left side of the map, and the best looping spots on the right side of the map. My favourite hiding spots are the closet in the boys' bedroom, you've got two closets in the foyer, and finally, the two back rooms behind the master bedroom, the bathroom and the closet room. If you're confident at doing so, my favourite spots to loop the ghost are the dining table, the kitchen worktop, and finally, the car in the garage. There is also a locker in the garage that is a decent hiding spot. There are also five potential Ouija board spawns on Tanglewood. These are the closet in the boys' bedroom, the closet room adjoined to the master bedroom, the utility room by the shelf, the back corner of the garage, and finally near the back of the basement. If you need to turn off the car alarm, the car key is right by the front door. And finally, the two potential fuse box locations are the basement and the garage. That's Tanglewood Street House in 90 seconds.